Hey dudes, let's see I here. So last week I got unironically enthusiastic about maps. I love them so much and I'm such a nerd about it and I don't care. I like the fact that I am nerdy about this. It makes me happy. That's all I care about. So last week I showed you maps in general. Now I'm the, the one I finished with was this one. It shows beers from every country in the world. That's fabulous. But I got stuff that's even better. I got 10 maps today. They're going to blow your minds because they just tell you cool information. Map number one, where Google Street View is available. You see the blue parts? That's where you can go on Google Street View. You go to South Africa and you can check out the roads. You can see what the streets are. You can see the stores. You can see the people walking down the sidewalks. I love this. There's even some islands you can do it on. You can do it on the Azores. Oh, I could geek out on this for an hour. I could totally do this. Let's move on to number two. Countries that do not use the metric system. <laughs> oh, man. The United States, we're the best country in the world, aren't we? We don't. <laughs> we're just, we're so lame. Okay, moving on. This is a good one. The only 22 countries in the world that Britain has not invaded. <laughs> Holy crap. You think the United States has some issues. Britain cannot stop invading countries. <laughs> insane. Next one. This is a map of Pangaea. You know, from way back millions and millions of years ago, only they put the current international borders on it. Ah, oh, that's flipping awesome, isn't it? Look at South America and Africa all lined up like that. Too good. All right, next one. McDonald's across the world. There are certain countries in this world that do not, do not have a McDonald's. If you're going to Paraguay, you ain't getting a Big Mac in Paraguay. Ain't happening. Greenland? Sorry, you're going to have to eat walrus. Next up. Paid maternal leave around the world. Yay, United States! Best country in the world! Oh, we are so afraid of... I don't want... I'm not going to get into it. I'm not not going to go political. They just say the U.S. is so awesome! Ugh. Next map. Oh, this is awesome. The most common surnames in Europe. What's the most common name in England? Smith. In France, Martin. In Spain, Garcia. Oh, what's Latvia? Ah, it's not Linda's name. Burzens? Burzens? I'm pretty sure that middle one is Latvia. Burzens. This is a wonderful map. I could stay here all day, but I won't. Let's move on to the next one. Worldwide driving orientation by country. <laughs> oh, Britain. You you know, you may have paid maternal leave, but you drive on the wrong side of the road. You know who agrees with me? Pretty much everybody. I've never been to one of those countries where they drive on the wrong side. I want to do it. I should go there and try and drive and see how long it takes me to get into a wreck. The top 10 busiest air travel routes. Oh, they're all in like Japan and China. There's one down in South Africa. Cape Town to Johannesburg is the 10th busiest air travel route. Who'd have thunk it? Australia, Melbourne to Sydney. Huh. Oh, and the way over there in South America. Is that Brazil? It is. It's Rio to Sao Paulo. Golly. What a cool map. You would have thought New York City to Atlanta or something, you know? Or New York to London. Nope, it's the smaller routes. It's the routes where people commute. And now, your last map. Holy crap. If that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. There are more people living inside this circle than outside of it. Oh, that's, that's mind-blowing. Okay, well, let's look at it. They've got India and China, which have a huge number. They've got Japan, huge number of people. They've got Korea. They've got Indonesia. Yeah, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Those are all the biggest countries, you know, for number of people. More people living inside that circle than outside of it. Cool map. All maps are cool, but these ones I showed you today are especially cool. They really do teach you something interesting about the world. Man, maps are, maps are interesting. You know what? You know what? We've done two straight weeks of map. Can I stretch this into three weeks? You bet I can. I've already got it planned out. Next week's going to be more maps. Three straight weeks of me being unironically enthusiastic about something I love. More maps next week. I'll see you then.